You know, it's been 43 weeks, man, now since I've started this. How y'all doing? <laughs> My name's Dave, this is Seeking Gains, and uh, thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're new, thank you for taking a few moments out of your day just to check out the channel to see if it's something you'd like to watch. And uh, as I'm talking here, you can see exactly what it is we do here. Uh, I don't. I used to read it all, but I don't do that anymore. It's a long, ongoing joke for a lot of things in this channel. It's because I have a tendency to read a lot. <laughs> so, well, we like to have a little fun here, man. Uh, this is the dividend comparison uh, series that I do. I, I actually do two series for those that don't know. I do a ETF. Uh, 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 covered call uh, competition as well and I've, I've been wanting to do another one but I just can't seem to get around to it because it, 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 it you know this doing these videos involves a lot of time and you know I don't have a lot of that <laughs> to spare it gets tough to even doing these two series so I'm, I'm still contemplating doing it anyway I'll shut up about that guys I hope everybody's portfolios did well this week uh, I hope everybody got a chance to grab some stuff when the market dropped on Thursday morning. That was a uh, a good thing for investors, not a good thing for the world. Because <laughs> I won't get into that. I'm sure you all know it's all over the news. It's plastered. Uh, but here's what here's your guys' votes. I don't think there was any new votes this week. Uh, but we'll read it anyway. It's 14 for a Degro SCHD 57 VIG 10 VYM 11 SPHD 3 SPYD 1 DGRW 1 and VYMI 1. So that's your guys' votes. If you're new, hey, feel free, please throw a vote down there. You don't have to go into a spiel. I always say spiel. I don't know why I say spiel. But uh, you don't have to go into a whole explanation. Just throw down there at the bottom, degrow. And if there's not an ETF on here, a dividend ETF that you would like to see on this list, throw it in there and we'll, we'll add that. We're going to go into some other ETFs here in a little bit and compare them and see how they did over the last five days. Anyway, so mainly why you are here. See how the portfolio did first. Uh, you know, as always, guys, this is a Fidelity. So it rounds. So there are my deposits. Again, this is the 43rd week. Did I say that right? 43rd? Yes. Uh, so as of 225. So nine more weeks. And uh, it'll be a year. So there's the deposits again. Uh, how much I paid at the time of the deposit and how much of a share it bought during that deposit. Okay. Uh, next slot there is the total shares. That's how many shares I have accumulated over the last 43 weeks. A uh, dollar cost that you know doing a twenty-five dollars a week, roughly as you can see. I said um, uh, fidelity rounds, and there were a few weeks just for those that are new. Uh, I actually the, when the portfolio fell, all four were red. I actually bought a couple extra uh, twenty-five dollars uh, in a week. I don't remember exactly when and how, but that's why if you do the math, it's a it's a little higher than. Uh, but for the for the most part, it's twenty-five dollars a week, and it, one of the reasons I'm doing this is I wanted to show you what twenty-five dollars a week. Uh, can turn into over time. Uh, and that's the whole reason of this channel was inspiration. Uh, so the cost basis there, and uh, you can see where I'm at as far as cost basis, and then you can see my current values ever so slowly creep into that 5,000 mark. I'm thinking maybe, unless the market's really come back this week, but I'm thinking maybe uh, maybe two weeks, yeah, maybe three weeks we'll pass that five. It all depends on the markets, right? Uh, you can see my growth, and that's how, and it's and highlighted in blue because that's uh, what I base the uh, this competition on, and uh, the growth percentage. And then you can see the growth in dollars, and I'm up forty three dollars and thirty cents. Uh, and lastly, at the end there, guys, is the close, the pricing uh, for each one of these ETFs. Uh, now this is the end of the month, and I, I said I think in the beginning of the year that I'm going to try to do at the end of each month um, fidelity. Because uh, I have to go in and crop all this, so I only want to do this once a month. And because Fidelity, for those that don't use Fidelity, they put their account numbers smack dab right in the corner of <laughs> of that portfolio that you do. I have several portfolios through uh, Fidelity, but this one, you know, obviously, obviously you can see it's popped up down here below. I'm sure that my account uh, percentage, you know, you see 7.87, 7.84, 7.72, and 8.03. So yeah, there are other funds uh, within this uh this, to this account. I wish I had done just M1 uh, when I started this, but I didn't think that far ahead. 
when I decided to go ahead and move forward with this. But anyway, that's just to show you guys uh, in comparison. And you know what? I'll pop both of them up here so you guys can see. This is to keep me honest so you guys can see that I am not uh, favoring one over the other in no way, shape, or form. Uh, I do favor one, but, and most of that you follow the channel know it's SCHD. I'm a big, super big fan of SCHD, even though it hasn't been doing as well as I had hoped when this competition started, but I still am a huge fan of SCHD. Actually, I like all these ETFs. Honestly, I wouldn't be putting money into any of these if I didn't feel that they were worthy. Uh, so there you go. So that's the comparison for the two. You guys can see that I'm keeping this fair and square. All right. So this is where we jump over to Dave and let Dave go over the last five days. And uh, with something we have uh, been following from uh, the beginning of the year too. So you guys can see that. It's all yours, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate that. Hey, everyone. How y'all doing? One of these days, we're going to get this thing back into shape. Uh, we're, I know we're slowly, slowly, let me emphasize slowly working on the studio here. We're going to have a new one in not too distant future. At least I hope not too distant. Anyway, here we go. It'll be over here and I don't know if it's going to fit or not. I'll have to soon see. I know I had this problem with the other video, but I got it to fit. So hopefully this one will fit. Uh, anyway, here we go, guys. Uh, in the, you know what I did? I actually made a boo-boo in here. I'm going to have to fix that next time. But anyway, the top four are in the competition. So let's see who did the best and did the worst in the top four. Uh, and actually that would be VIG did the best with a 0.21% positive. Uh, and also VYM was the worst, but it still was positive at a 0.01%. So that was the top four that's in this competition. So VIG did the best, VYM did the worst. See, now let's bring them all together and see how they all did. Uh, so this is overall all ETFs that are on this list. The best performer of the week was a newcomer from a couple weeks ago was KNG, did a 0.92% positive. And the SDIV, and I actually had to go back and double check this one because I was like, wow, really? How come everybody else didn't quite go that far down? But SDIV, yeah, it was a negative 4.2%. 72%. So again, I had to double check that one. So that is correct. The only other one that did really bad was the uh, VYMI, which is the international dividend, was down 2%. Uh, but and all in all, most of the market uh, or most of these ETFs did fairly well this week. So, I mean, as far as being red, I mean, you can see there's a lot of red on this thing. So there you go, guys. Let's jump it back over to Dave and let him finish this thing up for you guys. And I'll let that way we can get you guys can get back to your day, right? Well, thank you, Dave. I have to say, man, your desk is getting pretty full over there. You got your white pages and a bunch of uh, <laughs> a bunch of figures over there, yeah, buddy. Sure is, man. He's going to run out of room over there. Anyway, uh, so uh, one of my favorite times in the video is all about the dividends. So we have two things we do. I will show you the actual dividends paid. And because these D these ETFs only pay quarterly, we do what's called four fund dividends. And that will pop up down here. So basically what this is is my current amount of share that I own by for each one of these times the last amount paid you know, obviously gives you the amount that I would receive today, today, if I was getting paid today, which I'm not, well, next month. So this is just ballpark, you know, things change all the time. So it's just, like I said, that's why it says for fun. <laughs> so there you go. We got 22.656 shares at 30 cents for Degro would give us $6.80. SCHD 15.381 shares at 62 cents would pay $9.54. VIG 7.367 shares at 77 cents would pay $5.67. And VYM Yes, VYM, 11.031 shares at 94 cents uh, would be $10.37. So that would pay a grand total right now, today, if I was getting paid. $32.37. Yeah, $32.37. That's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, cha-ching. All right, guys. Uh, you know, uh, that's one of the things I, I, I try to do with this channel, too, is is, is fun, man. There's so many, uh, so much bad news in the world. So <laughs> you got to enjoy life, man, as much as you can. Trust me on that. Uh, yeah, I'm sure most of you know life is too short. Yeah, so anyway, um, here's the actual dividends real quickly because uh, there's no dividends yet. Uh, like I said, March. Uh, for those that are new, I, I go over this every week, but uh, just for those that are new, because there's people joining all the time. Actually, down here in the corner, 
is my sub count, and I, I just can't believe that number. I, I never thought that when I started this, I say it all the time, but it is it's mind-boggling to me. Uh, anyway, but we'll get back to the dividends. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Uh, first row, degro straight down would be the amount degro has paid me over time and how much of a share, because I'm dripping it, it bought of itself. All the way to the right at the top is month by month of what I got paid by all for it in that month. And you can see it was 417, 1235, 25, 21. And at the very bottom in the very corner, I'm sure you all can figure out what that is. That is how much I've been paid so far, $41.73. And uh, it's it, that that's growing, man. It's, it's you know, I mean, it will grow. I mean, we got more dividends coming, but it's grown. It's, it's very, very, very exciting, man. That's one of the reasons we do this is those dividends, right? So... Lastly, lastly, we have the leaderboard. <laughs> and since the beginning of the year, uh, things changed. VYM took first place. And you'll see it. It'll pop up here and start scrolling. And it has just dominated since the beginning of the year. Uh, and actually, the whole thing has not changed. And Degro, I mean, you can just look at Degro as it's scrolling and see Degro, I, I joked about it in one of the other videos and laughed about it because it is funny. Degro has taken second place and just said it's mine. Um, pretty much. SCHD is in third and VY, uh, VIG is in last place. Uh, but if you looked at it prior to this year, VIG kind of dominated that first place slot. So that's what I'm saying. You just you just never know how things change, man. It's 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 amazing. So, and in saying that, I guess this will end this video. I don't want to drag this out any longer than I have to. I know you guys got things to do, like myself. I my grand one of my grandkids is here and spending the night. Uh, that's why I'm doing this at uh, oh I don't know three o'clock three thirty in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so I can get this done and out to you guys so I can spend the rest of the day because my other grandson's coming this afternoon or later in the morning. Um, so I hope you guys, uh, uh, your portfolios do well this week. As always, I truly do. Uh, and because uh, that's what we're all doing this for is to make some money, correct? So let's let's just think positive. We'll get through this. And, uh, and uh, I'll see you guys next week, man. Again, thank you so much for joining me. Appreciate it. I truly do.